taking six offshore raiding craft and two hovercraft through the Caledonian Canal was never going to be the quickest of tasks. Fort Augustus is the next in a series of 29 locks that the vessels need to get through before reaching their finish point in Fort William. It's the first time I think we've gone through locks. We've been on uh, some quite busy rivers before like the Thames and uh, we went on the River Humber a couple of years ago but we didn't go through any lock systems there so this is the first time going through the locks so it's so quite an experience. It's similar to a dock of a ship but so it, it hasn't been that challenging but for some of the, the newer guys it, it had been a little bit challenging but with a little bit of quick teach they've managed to pull through and get through okay, no problems. There's around five of these locks within the Fort Augustus flight and each one has around one and a half million litres of water in it. It should take the Marines around an hour to get from the bottom to the top where they can carry on to their next location. Fort Augustus is just the next in a series of 29 locks that the vessels need to get through before reaching their finish point in Fort William. Scotland offers a realistic but really challenging training environment. Uh, it takes the guys away from the comfort zone of the southwest where they're used to operating, puts them into a mountainous environment and allows us to prepare for future training and operations in places such as Norway. The main effort of the whole exercise is integration. It's all about integrating the different craft types, the, the different crews and the different operating conditions, as well as our support element using dark blue navy to provide engineering support and real-time life support and to create one coherent capability. 539 Assault Squadron are normally based in Plymouth. We've spent the last couple of years uh, deploying abroad on little training teams and ops, so it's the first time that the squadron's been able to get together as a one and uh, deploy like this and facilitate ourselves without any help from others or ship. So yeah, it's been uh, a new experience for a lot of lads, as many of the lads are quite new to the job. They're now more than halfway through exercise Raging Torrent. And before returning home to Devonport, 539 Assault Squadron will make their way through Neptune's staircase, the longest staircase lock in Britain. Rebecca Ricks, Forces News in Fort Augustus.